The Bisenji dog has a calm and independent temperament. Bisenji owners often describe their pets as stubborn dogs. Clever Bisenji are not easily trainable dogs and can be stubborn and unwilling to learn new commands. Finding the right motivation and keeping training sessions short and positive can help to achieve good training results. The Bisenji tends to select one human to form emotional attachment with. Aloofness with strangers is one of the Bisenji's character traits. Strangers should not make the first physical move to greet the Bisenji and should not approach the dog from the rear. Let the dog make the first approach. Bisenji will not mind a company of another Bisenji, in fact the Bisenji breed does really well when paired up with another Bisenji. Bisenji may not always get along with other non-canine pets. Remember that the breed has a strong prey drive and cannot be trusted around animals other than dogs when off-leash. Are Bisenji good with kids? The Bisenji enjoy activity playtimes and energy levels that come with older children. There can be a strong bond with children if raised with them. Keep in mind that older Bisenji may not settle as well with a family who already have children. The African Bush Dog, another name for the Bisenji breed, makes a good family watchdog and will defend both family and property. When walking the Bisenji, only let the dog off the leash in a fenced area where dogs are allowed to run free. Bisenji are fast runners and can easily take off running after some small animal that they see as a prey. Bisenji may not immediately come back when called by the owner, especially if there's something that caught the dog's attention and activated his hunting instinct. The barkless dog is likely to ignore the owner's call to come back in such situation. Put an ID tag on the dog's collar or harness as the fast dog is known to be an expert escape artist when given an opportunity. Write your contact info on the dog's collar or harness, so that in case your Basenji does escape, you have a better chance of reuniting with your four-legged friend. Proper socializing will help you to raise a dog that is confident and stable whether it is at home or outdoors. Bring treats with you so that if you notice that the dog is not comfortable in certain environment you can always use treats to distract the dog and reward it for a good behavior. Bisenji may show a stubborn temperament at times and training this dog will take a lot of patience on the owner's part. The Bisenji is a great dog for living in the city as long as the dog gets enough exercise. The breed is very versatile and can adjust to living in an apartment or in a house. This African dog breed has a very short and hypoallergenic coat. Due to the short coat this dog breed should not be kept outside too long when the weather is cold. For cooler weather always dress your pet in a dog coat to keep him warm when spending time outside. Keep in mind that Basenji are great climbers that can easily climb over a chain wire fence and a strong yard fence will be needed. Some Basenji owners describe their Basenji as a cat-like dog because just like cats this dog breed is serious about keeping itself clean and has the same independent and aloof personality as most cats do. The Basenji is a hunting dog breed that belongs to hound dog category, a sight hound. The Basenji rely on their vision unlike other hunting dog breeds that rely on sense of smell. The Bisenji will pay close attention to any moving objects and chases whatever it sees as causing the motion. The breed will enjoy lure chasing as a game. However, the African bush dog may not be willing to fetch on command. This is an independent dog who will only obey when it suits him. Training a Bisenji can be a challenge for novice owners. The Bisenji breed evolved in Africa and there are several names that this breed is known by including Congo Dog, Congo Terrier, African Bush Dog, African Barkless Dog, Ango Angari, Zonda Dog. The Bisenji temperament can be described as playful, curious, alert and energetic. The Barkless Dog has a reasonably independent personality. His tightly coiled tail, short coat that enables the dog to live comfortably in warm climate and erect ears are easy to recognize. Congo Dog, which is another name for Basenji, is a hunting breed that uses both sight and sound senses during hunting. Start socializing your Basenji early in life, while he is still a young puppy. Take Basenji puppy to the dog park, 
to busy streets and other new places so that the Basenji puppy can get used to being comfortable in different environments. Your goal is to introduce your Basenji puppy to various places, other dogs, and people and keep the dog comfortable during the new experiences. Potential Basenji owners should learn as much as possible about the Basenji temperament to make sure it's a good match. Basenji should not be left alone at home too long as these dogs tend to get destructive due to boredom. Be prepared to spend a minimum of an hour of walk time with your energetic Basenji every day, and if you can manage more, even better. Many Basenji owners quickly learn to keep important things around the house in order. It is an invitation for your Basenji to chew on or play with anything that it finds on the floor. The Basenji quickly gets bored if left alone. Always leave something for your Basenji to chew on before you leave the dog home alone. How to train a Basenji Even though the Basenji is highly intelligent, Congo dogs are not easily trainable. Training your Basenji will require a lot of time, patience, and dedication. Building a bond with your dog is the first and crucial step that will help to train the dog successfully. The Basenji breed is more likely to respond to the owner's commands when there's a trusting and secure relationship between the dog and the owner. To build a strong bond with your dog, spend quality time together, establish and promote mutually respectful relationship and understand each other's needs. As a result, you will be able to raise a calm and happy dog. There's a certain level of stubbornness in a Basenji character. Attempting to overcome the breed's stubbornness with force may lead to confusion and aggression. Do not use harsh training techniques and whenever a correction is needed, it must be immediate and consistent. Use plenty of positive reinforcement, food rewards and praise during training. Consider an option of training classes to help get you where you and your Basenji need to be. Basenji housebreaking training should start as soon as you bring the dog home. Watch for the signs of readiness, if you notice that the dog is sniffing the floor and walking in circles, immediately take him to the designated dog toilet area. Reward him with a small treat as soon as he is done with his business. Although Basenji is not the easiest breed to train, with consistency and patience the Basenji can successfully be potty trained. Many dog owners report that using a crate for housebreaking training can help to house train your Basenji. Dogs use crates for sleeping and for relaxing. If your Basenji is prone to getting destructive while you are away, a crate can help to keep him out of trouble. Never leave a dog in a crate for more than a couple of hours. If you are away the whole day, do not leave the dog locked in his crate for hours on end. Dogs often need to take time to get used to their crate. Leave some treats for your pet inside the crate so that he can get motivated to explore his new den. Do not rush to quickly close the crate once your dog gets inside. It is best to get the dog to feel comfortable and safe in the new environment. Only after your dog is fully comfortable spending time in his crate you can start getting the dog used to being closed inside the crate. Only close the gate for a few seconds at first. Leave some treats or chewing toys inside the crate and practice closing the crate doors for a few seconds at a time. Do not offer praise or rewards as soon as the dog comes out of the crate as he will associate leaving the crate with getting a reward. In case your dog starts whining while he is in the crate, do not immediately open the gate. Wait for the interval when the dog gets quiet and immediately let him out. Never put the dog in a crate as a punishment as you don't want your pet to associate his crate with being punished. Dogs that are properly crate trained enjoy spending time in their crate and often use it as their sleeping area. Crate trained dogs are easier to travel with as the dog feels more secure in his familiar environment during the trip. Barkless Dog Dogs that don't bark include the Basenji. Be warned that barkless Basenji doesn't mean silent Basenji. The Basenji breed standard puts the sound that these dogs make as a mix of chortle and a yodel. Basenji is not a completely woofless dog. There is a whole range of sounds that a Basenji can make, including whining and screaming that may surprise someone who did not expect to hear any sounds from this breed. 
the larynx of a Basenji is different shape than that in other dogs and as a result the dog is unable to bark the way most other dogs do. Basenji yodel sounds more like a siren. Basenji is not such a quiet dog breed after all. Are you thinking about getting a Basenji? Let us know what you decide in the comments below. And if you know someone who's thinking about getting a Basenji, please share this with them. If you liked this video check out our website, the link is in the description of this video. Otherwise, have a great day. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe.